Hey everyone and welcome to Island Getaway, a horror game about crab people. On July 18th, 1986, three friends visited the Clayco Island Resort and Spa. What was meant to be a quiet retreat in the islands turned into something far more sinister. Yes, I see Atari graphics. I should really go find the resort first. Oh man. I hate sand. It's coarse, rough, and gets everywhere. East Clayco Island Resort and Spa. West Beach. South Okay. That way it's blocked off for now. So I guess we'll go to the Clayco Resort first. What's up here though? Hello, seashell. I guess that was important. Crap. They're here already. You must be my buddies. Hey! Look who finally decided to show up. Seriously, we've been waiting forever. Sorry, guys. Uh, well, that doesn't matter now. Yeah, what matters is getting you inside the resort. You must be tired. Go on in. We'll be right behind you. Uh, okay. I seem awfully cooperative to do that. Um, hello? Hello. Welcome to the Clayco Island Resort and Spa. You're totally a crab person. Look at your portrait. Hi. I booked a room. Uh, I think it was room one... Room 102. It's been waiting for you. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, I guess. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Right. I'm gonna go now. Anyways, here's your key. Your room is down the hall. You'll find your key to the spa in your room. I encourage you to go to the spa. You look tired. Okay. Do you want me to go to the spa so the crabs can feast on my flesh? Is that what's happening here? Also, crab room. Why was that fanfare so sinister? Get away from that door! Whoa! It's for gold members only! Okay there, bud. Simmer down, relax! Wait. Crab. These doors are locked. Okay, I guess this is my room. It's pretty nice. I have a bed. And, uh... A crab. Where's the turlet? I guess I should go check out the spa. Does the spa have a turlet? I do feel pretty tired. But where's the toilet? Nice. Oh, crab. Hmm. Looks like someone left behind a key card. Was I saying Clayco? It's Calco. I'm so goddamn stupid. Oh my god. People in the comments are going to be yelling at me. Of course. Of course I read that wrong. Because why wouldn't I have read that wrong? Uh, Calco Island Resort and Spa Gold Member. What a narc. <laughs> okay. What a narc, dude. Wait, you can't go in there yet. Huh? Whoa. Wait. No, it was a typo. I was saying it right. I'm not stupid after all. Huzzah. I am Miss Clayco, owner of the Clayco Island Resort and Spa. And you cannot go in that spa in those clothes. But why? Go to your room and change into the island resort bathrobe. And then you can relax in the exquisite spa. Um... Okay, sure. You look so tired. Why does everyone keep saying that? Y'all are weird. I guess I'll change into the robe. 
Uh, what? What? The fuck? Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's not go to the spa. Let's go over here to the gold memberships. It's a puzzle. I see. Dun 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 dun. Oh, okay. And now we push this one over here. Yes. Look at this big brain go. Easy puzzle solving. That's the green shell. So I've gotten a blue and green shell. I probably need to get all the shells for a different ending. There may be multiple endings. The titular spa that so many people are talking about. Wait a minute, you're not in robes. This is such a great spa. I really needed this island getaway. Your brain could be an island. What's with your face? Your face is tweaking out every time you talk. But that pesky brainstem makes it in a... Ooh. Why are you talking about my brain like this, bruh? I... I'm very uncomfortable. Also, I look exactly like that person to the left. We're basically indistinguishable. But that pesky brainstem makes it a peninsula. Wouldn't you like your mind to be an island? Right, I think my friends were taken over by crab people. Yeah. I was so tired before coming here. But now I'm refreshed. I feel great. Our bodies could be islands, floating, surrounded by space. But our feet keep us tied down. I am not an island. I really needed this spa day. Okay, bud. Ah, oh, they're crabs! Ah, oh, good gods! Give me the calm. Give me the fearless firmness of the unyielding sea. Uh, sea. Oh, desert, rise up. Sea, oh, brooding desert, rise up. Sea, oh, stillness, rise up. Take thy shroud of dead flesh and stop this endless pump that you call a heart. This day is the end, and yet there is still further to fall. Endless sea, oh, endless sea. What the feck is going on? Y'all are crabs! Y'all are crab people! Cheese it! Get out of here! <laughs> Run! Controls! I can't leave. Oh, crab. And he, the Sea King, in his moments of delirium and madness, and nigh on half-mad loneliness and quaking silvers, comes out of his navel at last. Huh? Wagging his dripping and rat-clawed fingers, Spouting for breath and filling with rage yells, My old soul sad and the head of a large red cod Has slumbered in the sandy depths of the ocean for eons Without food or drink, or but a cloud of ravenous crows And now you fill my mouth with those evil seashells What the feck is going on? And one of his four heads is slotted into your mouth Compressing your jaws, pinching and squeezing in pain and then pleasure. And when the vile taste of your face festers with the rod of ye, while ye weep, though your eyes can see nothing but the oblivion of the unearthly waters, he reaches down the black cavern of his belly, up the savage shelled sump into his throat, and pokes out a yellow and brittle tongue the cockles of his fetid mouth spitting up his putrid wretchedness. Oh, how did you know my name, bruh? What the fuck? I, my computer is not named that. How do they keep knowing my name? How do these games know? Take a sip from his cup and become crab. Are you feeling it yet, Mr. Krabs? Oh, I think he's feeling it. Whoa. 
Oh, this is amazing. Look at the size of that one. What a crab. You the crab king? King of the crabs? Money, 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 money. Oh! Oh! Run! Cheese it! <laughs> no! Get away from me, crab! I did not become crab. I saved myself. Oh, go to the beach! Quickly! Into the water! What am I, an Olympic athlete? Am I just gonna swim back to safety? Despite making it to the waters and escaping Clayco Island, Austin's offering to the brine fell short. They swam for an entire day before their arms and legs suddenly boiled. Well, that's unfortunate. On summer nights, the children of Clayco Island hear a wailing from the black water and the shadow of terrible fins and flailing arms, wavering fleshy bones and a swinging tongue. Ending two out of three. Ah, there are multiple endings. Uh, let's go again. Try to get more endings. So I think this time we should try to make our way into 101. There's the gold membership card again. Uh, we know a shell is over here, so let's get that real quick. Boop. Oh, I can't go in there. Even though I have the card, Nani. Oh, maybe now I can go in there, because I triggered this one. Okay, well, let's go back over here then. Alright, there's shell number two. Now just to find the third one, which is probably in room 101 if I had to guess. It's either in room 101 or behind that fence, which I don't know how to open up yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. That's weird, the door is locked. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I take it the crab killing me is another ending, if I had to guess. What if I just refuse the cup? Hmm. I take it I can't refuse the cup. Alright then. I was eated. Before they could make it into the ocean and face the dread god, Austin was torn limb from limb. Residents of Clayco Island say that they do not have a resort or spa. At night, they will hear faint, congealed cracking and think nothing of it. Ending one out of three. So I believe the last one is getting all the shells and then drinking the cup. So we just have to figure out how to get all three shells now. Oh, well, would you look at that? There was a hidden room here all along. Oh, that's shell number three. Oh, I'm feeling it all right. I'm feeling a third ending coming up. Mm-hmm. All right, King Crab. You've clicked your last clack. You've pinched your last fish. Oh, he's still coming after me. He's still very mad. Oh, Jesus! Maybe that way is open now, though? Oh, God, run. Oh, God, run. Come on, Jesus! Nope, it's still closed! Ah. I've got all three shells, though. Oh! Wait! Bubbles? That's a big old eyeball. 
Those are big old hands. Finding their offer acceptable, the Brine welcomed Austin into the Infinite Sea. They will live forever in the terrifying and beautiful infinite black waters, or waves rather. On autumn mornings, their family will hear a gurgling in their walls. Well, that doesn't seem like a good ending at all. 